When I was a kid, they used to have these drawings. You'd always see them and it'd say, find as many faces as you can in the forest. Well, that's kind of what I'm doing today. I'm finding as many mistakes as I can in a set of kitchen plans so that you don't make mistakes in yours. By watching me trash these, my hope is that you'll learn how to trash your own plans and fix them before it's too late. So let's get into it. I don't cross my teeth. These plans are the gift that keep on giving. So not only is the layout bad, but the lighting is also terrible. So let's see what we can get through today. Here's the offending plans in question. And you can see it's a kitchen layout. It's got the lighting and the switches on here. And as we walk in the kitchen, we've got a threshold here. You walk in, we've got a pocket door, probably to a den, sliders to the backyard, and a window over the sink. Got an island in the middle, and these long dash lines, long means above your head, that indicates skylights. So they've got two skylights in the room. These shorter dash lines indicate the upper cabinet. So we have some uppers here and here, We've got a big sink, we've got the oven, fridge, pull-out pantries on both sides, and the microwave here. Now, just based on the size alone, I can tell you that this kitchen does not work. There are no dimensions, but guessing at the sizes, this is two feet, this is about three, maybe it's three and a half if I'm being generous, but I know it's not, another three and four. That makes this kitchen about 12 feet wide. That is not enough room to have an island and to be able to walk around it. It just won't work. When you are walking into the kitchen and you come through here and you wanna to go to the second dishwasher, which we will get to, and you pull out the door, how on earth are you gonna pull that stool out? There's not enough clearance. There's not enough clearance if there were no stools there. It just doesn't work. If you have a 12 foot wide kitchen, you have two feet of cabinetry. You need the space in between the island and the space on the other side. The space in between an island, if you're just walking through or working there, should be 42 inches. Well, it should be 36 if you're walking through. That's, that's a pathway, but that's really tight. 42 is what National Kitchen and Bath recommends. 48 is more comfortable. And if you have to open a dishwasher or an oven or a refrigerator and back up to open it, you want to give yourself some room. This kitchen doesn't have it. So that's strike one for this place. Strike two is the kitchen triangle. And when I come in with groceries and I'm putting them down here or I'm putting them here and I want to go to the fridge, I want to go to the pantries, put stuff away. I want to go over here to the sink to take the wrappers off. Now I want to wash them. I want to chop. I want to put them on the cooktop. I want to maybe put them in the oven. This is not a triangle. There's too much walking between here and here. Not to mention the traffic that's coming through. This doesn't work for a cook. Now the next problem I see is the double dishwashers. You'll see them here. Now if this is a kosher kitchen, I get it. You need two dishwashers. However, you do not need these two right beside each other. The door is extended so you can see how difficult this clearance is here. You want a minimum of 42 inches. What is that in, I don't know, 42 inches is what you need just to pass. Not to mention we've got a seat here so that's not going to work. But let's go back to the dishwashers for a sec. We've got this nice big sink here and then there's two dishwashers side by side here. If I'm standing here and I'm loading dishes and this one gets full, now I've got to load dishes to here? Doesn't make sense. Put the other dishwasher over here. Okay, what else about this plan doesn't work? Well, there's a long stretch of cabinetry here. Again, we're gonna run into clearance issues because no one can stand here and work and have someone sit here. There's not enough room. Technically isn't enough room over here either. Next up, I want to take a look at one of the practical aspects of this design. So let's zoom in here on these pantries down here. So you see we've got a pull-out pantry here and a pull-out pantry here. Then we've got the fridge and we've got double ovens. When you order kitchen cabinets, this is a full height panel, this is a full height panel, this is a full height panel, and this is a full height panel because they're 24 inch deep cabinet boxes. The oven and the fridge, 
because they are visible, you want to have an end panel or a finished full height, full depth panel on either side. So right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, six full height panels. Now I've got a couple of problems with this design. First of all, the fridge shouldn't be here in the first place. The fridge should be over here so that it's closer to the sink. It's closer to the cooktop. It's easier to use. You've got enough wall depth to hide the whole depth of the fridge. So we don't need an end panel here. Then what you can do is put both pantries together over here. So now we only have one box. Then we get a little bit more cabinetry over here and countertop. And we've got a full height pantry. So now we paid for one, two, three, four full height panels. When it comes to ordering this kind of stuff, that's $2,000. Just because we've combined the two pantries together and instead of doing four, we now, we now have two 24 inch deep boxes. That's 2000 bucks back in your pocket. You're welcome. Now there's one more problem I see here and it's the skylights. Now, while I love light and getting all that light into this room is wonderful. This skylight here falls right over the cooktop. So any kind of hood vent that you wanted to hang from the ceiling is not going to happen because the skylight is right here. There's nowhere to put the hood vent. It's in the way. So the only option is to do a downdraft on the countertop. The mechanisms take up a lot of room. You have to be able to vent it outside. So that's got to be a possibility through your floors. It complicates the process. Or putting the cooktop underneath the skylight is not a wise idea. In addition to the cooktop being a problem here because of the hood, when you're standing cooking, you're staring at a wall. That's not pleasant. The whole idea of putting a cooktop in the island is so that you can look at people and be engaged with their guests. Yeah, they're right here. They'd be right here too if your cooktop was over on the wall where it made sense and you could put a sensible hood over it. But that's just my opinion. One more thing about these dishwashers. If I'm standing at the sink doing my work and I want to turn around and empty the dishwasher, I can't get past it to get to the upper cabinets and put my glasses away. There's no uppers over here. So I've got to go around this every time. This has got to be closed because you cannot pass. When it's your kitchen and it matters, walk through it. See how it's going to work. At first glance, it looks like a great plan. But when you get into the details and the measurements, it doesn't work. Now I've been looking at plans for longer than I care to remember. So I can get a good idea, even if it doesn't have dimensions on it what the measurements are and how it's going to work. If you don't, what you need is a full set of plans that you can lay a ruler on and you can read to scale a quarter of an inch equals a foot. You can tell how much space you have between things and if it's going to work for you. You don't need one of these. You just need a regular ruler. Lay it on top. Every quarter inch equals a foot. As much as these homeowners may want an island, it just doesn't fit in this space. This is a lifetime of making do and scooching past stools and not opening the dishwasher because someone's sitting down. This is misery on paper and you need to catch these kinds of mistakes. Nobody cares as much as you. You need to look at the plans. You need to be critical. You need to find those mistakes because people are buying these. People are building this and it's crap. They're going to be miserable. They're going to be stuck in this tight kitchen with all these windows burning holes in their countertop and still not be able to pass around the stupid dishwashers. I hope this gives you some ideas about how to go through your plans and be critical about what's in them and does it work for you. Next time, I'm going to go through the lighting plan and that is so much worse. Stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching.